Hello everyone, this is Anirudh. Today, I will show you how you can use Fluent UI icons inside Power Apps. Also, we will see how we can use Action button inside Power Apps. If you are not aware about what is Action button is, let me show you some samples. So if you go to make.powerapps.com and click on the Learn, right bottom you can see one of the button is there. This is called Action button. Uh, action button is like there will be one, one icon and some text with the combination and it is not the only one you can see all these can call action button kind of things uh, and you can, can call see. action button also you can go and check in the documentation where you can find a lots of different ideas of action button so in today's uh, demo i will show you some of the action button how you can create inside power apps also if you see, these are the uh, Office UI fabric icons. There are uh, almost two, two, six, eight icons are there. If you wanted to use these icons inside a Power Apps, I will show you how you can use it. Okay, let's go for the demo then. To do all this thing, first you need to install Creator Kit. So in my uh, previous video, I already shown you how to install Creator Kit. You need to always install the latest one and also you can download that uh, creator kit canvas reference so that you can understand how to use all these uh, particular component so creator kit in short a kit where a lots of component will come those component is not out of box in power apps but it is a custom some are code component some are custom component icons so all these components. this kind of controls you wanted to use then you must install these inside your environment so okay let's go to that app so at the end we will see we will see how to create this kind of icons there is a, some drop shadow effect if you see also we can do okay so to do this what i will do i will create one new screen inside the screen i will click on the plus button then get more components and then click on the code when you install that uh, creator kit component you can find it so here you need to type icon so i have already done so i can see but once you select and import what will happen here inside the code component you can find fluent icon so you need to select once one icon will appear here so one of the property is most interesting it is called icon type so there are three type of icon type one is icon button action button and icon icon is basically nothing but just an icon linkedin icon or sharepoint icon uh, action button is as i said earlier that icon plus some text and icon button is if you use icon plus actionable item without any text that is called icon button Today, I will show you action button. So I will select action button first. So now what I will target, let me target this, this one. Need help one, correct. So how I will do? First, I will put detail. Yeah. And I will increase the maybe sizes of icon and the text so it will look like this correct so now i wanted to change the icon because the icon if you see this is a headphone kind of thing so i will go here i will check the headphone so if you see this is the headphone so right click it copy friendly name come here and paste it so if you see it become like that correct now next is if you see the background is green correct so how i make green uh, so I wanted to pick this color. There are uh, many things are there. Color picker is there, or you can use uh, power toys. So usually I use always power toys. If you never use power toys, I will highly encourage this tool. So there is a color picker. If you see, you there is a shortcut also. You can do shift uh, Windows at C. So I will shift Windows C. There is a color picker. If you see, I click it. It will give me the the hexa code so that hexa code i need as of now i will close it so icon color i don't need i need the fill color that is this one so here i will put it yeah 
now the font color should be white so font color icon color is white so how i do so you know ff 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 this is the color of the white so i can get colored and now this is the another for text so text color is also here so for font color you can put it i will put over font color with the same color yeah so now you can see it is almost uh same but uh let's say i wanted to go some far i wanted to give some drop shadow effect and i wanted to keep it here kind of thing so how i will do what you need to do is that again you need to get more components you need to search one called elevation select this one and import i are already import so it is like this so what i will do is i will put here and i will take it back so send backward what will happen at the back that elevation is there now two i will select and create group you can take a component inside the component you can put it but as of now i will create a group so now in the elevation what i will do i will go and do like this so now if you see there is a drop shadow effect with the need help it is more catchy kind of things also there is a tooltip in the tooltip you can put i mean whatever uh, the things you want so click on the icon the last one is the tooltip you can change the tooltip whatever some other properties are there you can check it by yourself and uh, change so this is the one of the kind of as i said so icon have three kind of type so one of this type is there so let me show you some other type so uh, next maybe we will target for shared correct so for shared let me use another icon so if i come here and uh, so for that what you need is people so people is usually used for that share so you need to put it uh, icon here and once you done as i said you need to give it a uh, more icon size so as i said if you put icon button it will not work because icon only show icon but if you wanted to show you uh, the text so you need to select the action button then it will appear then i will put it 24 as of now and then if you see the background color it is kind of gray so again i will choose my use my uh, power toys and come here and take it and put it uh, the fill color so the fill color will be like this one yeah. now if you see that there is a curve correct so curve i need what i will do in the curve so here radius so in the border radius you can put your radius how you want to show you yeah so maybe it will be like look like this so uh these are the style you can use uh inside your uh power apps to create all kind of icons correct so now i will describe how you can uh use an icon any of the icon from power apps with the special color so if i go again uh to my screen so this is the screen here you can find a lots of uh, icons so one of the maybe linkedin icon i am targeting right now so here what i will do i will go here and again place one icon inside the icon i will put it like this and then i will give some thing like bigger maybe more bigger as of now to read it if you see the color is different Shift now C again I will take that color copy it and come back again and here what I will do yeah so the font color if you see now the font color is there now if you wanted to increase you just need to give the font size more bigger font size font size now we will see how an action button can operate an action so 
clicking on this button, I wanted to create or wanted to open one panel. And inside that panel, I will give some instruction for the head uh, so that user can follow those steps. To do this, what I need to do is that first I will go again, the plus, and then click here and go. This is the panel. Okay, I have already created. So once you do, you can find it like this. So I will put it here. It will appear like this. Now, conditionally, I wanted to open and close. So what is the best way to do? I will go here, click on the icon. So first, what I will do is that this is the panel and this is the visible property. Inside the property, I will give one variable name. So panel two, maybe will give some error because this uh, value is not declared anywhere so what i will do is i will select this one click on the icon go here and in the on change event i'll put it like that so update context next what i need to do is that once you do like that and click it will appear and then what you need to do is uh, select that whole panel and there is a called on close select inside the on close select you just put it false okay so it will work like that now here you wanted to put some instruction maybe what you can do is that go to the layout create a container so inside this container you can put some text like that so once you've done all this thing now this is the one of the uh, item you need to conditionally show and hide also so when it will show when uh, your variable so let's try it so it will look like that now the beautification of everything i am leaving to you but one of the thing i just want to make sure that whenever first time you click it go here click on the panel and import you might have some error so what you need to do is that there uh, you need to click on the edit component once you edit component it will create one uh, local component and in that local component you can delete the buttons or whatever the error is coming you just need to change those errors once you've done then it is good to go for this pop-up yep two years back i have created one of the app it is called um, office ui uh, fabric and bootstrap font awesome icon generator uh, here basically you can find many of the icons you need to select one and you will get that um, svg code you just need to copy you need to come to your app and then let's say here what i will do i will put one image so image component yeah. once i put the image component in the double quote i will provide that whole quote so now you can use all these icons so how i get that icon these icons is nothing but came from that uh here uh the main that time i have done because there was no creator kit or this kind of no icon component but right now you don't need this app anymore but still, if you wanted to use this app, it is inside that uh, Canvas component sample app inside Microsoft portal. You can just uh, download it and reuse this with the, it is not only the icon generator, many of the things you can find it, uh, how to beautify your app with more uh, icons. So this can be done uh, using that creator kit icon icon component also so yeah that's all
from today let me know if you need any help on that thank you